Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number 13 in the Broken Access Control module titled Referrer-Based Access Control. All right, before we continue with the video, I'd like to announce that this video is part of a course that I offer on my academy. Now you might be wondering, why would I buy a course that is made available for free on YouTube? Well, there are four reasons why you might want to do that. Number one is that you gain early access to recorded material. As soon as I record new videos, I make them available through my course right away. Whereas on YouTube, they'll only be released on a weekly schedule. Reason number two is that you gain access to a Discord channel where you can ask questions. The Discord channel is divided into topics that we cover in the course, and if you run into any issues, you get to ask questions about anything related to the course material. Reason number three is that you no longer have to deal with YouTube ads or sponsor messages. And last but not least, reason number four is you get to support me. Any revenue generated from this course will go back into maintaining the academy and creating more videos and courses that will be made available for free on my YouTube channel. So if you're interested in buying the course, make sure to check out the link in the description. And that is it. Let's go back to our video. If you do not have an account on the Web Security Academy, you can get one by visiting the URL portswigger.net slash websecurity and clicking on the sign up button. I already have an account and I am logged in. So to access the exercise, I'm going to click on Academy, go down, select the learning path, go down, select access control, and then go down one last time and select the last lab titled refer based access control. All right, let's get started. This lab controls access to certain admin functionality based on the referrer header. You can familiarize yourself with the admin panel by logging in using the credentials and they gave us the credential for the administrator user. To solve the lab, log in using the credentials of the regular user and exploit the flawed access controls to promote yourself to become an administrator. So the target goal over here is to exploit the broken access control vulnerability, which depends on access control using the refer header and then promote our own user to an administrator user. All right, let's access the lab. Now notice over here that we're using the built-in browser for Burp. And so all my requests are already going through Burp. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to log in as the administrator user and learn how the functionality functions. So we go to admin panel and the idea is to upgrade a user over here just to learn how it works. Um, we're gonna choose Carlos because in order to complete the exercise, we need to upgrade our own regular user and we don't wanna do that right now. We wanna do that through the broken access control vulnerability. So let's click on upgrade user and it performs this request right over here. So let's send this request to Repeater and then you could see the user is right now an admin. So in Repeater, you could see it's a get request. It takes in certain parameters to so the name of the user and then the action to perform, whether that's to downgrade a user or upgrade a user. And that's essentially it. That's all it does. So now let's go to my account, log out, and log in with our regular credentials and see if we could exploit this vulnerability. So click on my account again, and then log in with the regular credentials. Password was Peter, hit login. And then we're gonna click on right click and then click on inspect and then application to obtain the cookie of the regular user. All right, so this was the session cookie of the administrator user. I'm going to replace it with the regular user session cookie. So now it's as if we're performing the request as this user over here. Um, the next thing that I wanna do is upgrade um, our user instead of the Carlos user and uh, determine if I'm allowed to do that. Now, before I do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this referrer header and remove it and run the request. So if you hit send over here, you could see it's unauthorized. So it doesn't allow the regular user to upgrade himself to an admin user. However, if I put back the referrer header, which says that this came from the slash admin endpoint, which is only accessible by administrator users and hit send, you get a 302, you follow redirection. And here we go. It says, congratulations, you solved the lab. 
What that means is that the application is using the referrer header in order to perform access control decisions, which is completely wrong because the referrer header is client controllable. And so as you saw, we were able to change it and then bypass access control rules and promote ourselves to an admin user. And the way we did that is essentially just tell the application that we're actually coming from the slash admin endpoint, which is technically an administrator's directory and only the administrator has access to it. So now if we click anywhere, you could see now we have access to the admin panel because we're an administrator. All right, so we successfully completed the exercise by manually exploiting the broken access control vulnerability. Now let's script it in Python. First thing we're going to do is import all the libraries that we need. So the requests library, the sys library, the URL lib3 library, the bs4. So from bs4, import the beautiful soup library. and the regex library. Next, we're going to disable request warnings, insecure request warnings. And then we're going to set our proxy setting. So send all HTTP traffic to where burp is installed, which is HTTP 127.0.0.1 and port 8080. We're also sending HTTPS traffic to the same place. So 127.0.0.1 and again port 8080. Next, we'll define our main method. So if name is equal to equal to main, then call the main method and we'll define our main method right over here. We'll start off as we usually do. So if the length of the command line arguments is not equal to two, then print the usage instructions. So usage is equal to the name of the program and then it takes in a URL and the name of the program is taken from the command line argument. We're also going to print example instructions just so that it's absolutely clear to the user how to run it. And let's say www.example.com and then the name of the program. And there should be spaces between this and this. All right, this looks good. Next, we'll exit the program because the user ran it incorrectly. So it'll enter this clause over here if the program is run incorrectly. Now let's assume the program was run correctly. The first thing that we're going to do is create a sessions object. So request.session. And then we'll create a variable called URL and set it to the value from the second command line argument. And then we're going to call a function called upgrade account. And it takes in the session object and the URL. All right, and what this function will do is essentially exploit the broken access control vulnerability and promote our user to an admin user. Let's implement that function. So dev and URL right over here. The first thing to do is log in as the regular user that we were given. To do that, we need to understand how the login functionality works. So if we go back over here and click on login, you could see it's not this one, we're looking for a post request. Here we go. 
So it's a post request and it's to the slash login endpoint, which I'm going to copy. And then it takes in just the username and password. So it doesn't take in a CSRF token, which means we don't need to extract it from the previous request. So first thing is set the login URL to be equal to URL plus the path, which is slash login, and then set all the variables that are taken in the login form. So the first one is username. And then we set that to the regular user and password. We set that to the password that we were given. Next, we just perform the request. So s.post because it is a post method and then login URL. And then we say data is equal to data login. Verify to be equal to false and proxies to be equal to proxies. Next, we'll save the response in a variable called res, and we'll say if logout is in res, that means we've successfully logged in. So we'll print successfully logged in as the regular user. However, if we don't see the logout string, that means our login was unsuccessful. So we'll say could not log in as the regular user. And we'll exit the program since if we can't log in, we can't exploit the vulnerability. So minus one. Now let's assume we successfully logged in. The next step is to upgrade the user. So we'll print another statement saying that we're upgrading user to administrator. And then we just need to perform the upgrade request, which is this one right over here. So it's a get request and it takes in this path. So let's copy that. Let's say upgrade URL is equal to URL plus this path right over here. And then we need to add uh, the refer header, which is this one over here. So let's actually, we don't need to copy that. We just say headers is equal to refer. And we'll, that's, and that's equal to the URL plus slash admin. And then we perform the request. So R is equal to S dot get takes in the upgrade URL set headers to be equal to headers. Verify to be equal to false. And then proxies to be equal to proxies. And then we're going to say if R dot status code is equal to 200, then print successfully upgraded the user to administrator. Otherwise, print could not upgrade user to administrator and we exit the program. All right, so essentially what we're doing is we're performing this request over here with this refer header so that it exploits the broken access control vulnerability. And what this will do is it'll actually follow the redirect. So it'll follow the redirect and then it'll get a 200 OK message, which is what we're looking for. Now, if we get a 401, that means our exploit didn't work. And so it'll print the message could not upgrade the user to administrator. So if we save this and then make it a little bit smaller, you could see over here as a summary, uh, we defined our main method. In the main method, we call this function over here, which logs in as the regular user and then exploits the broken access control vulnerability and promotes a user to an admin user. Hopefully there's no errors in the script. So let's run it. Python 3, access control lab 13. 
and this likely timed out so let's open it again all right let's copy that put it in here remove the trailing slash hit enter no errors so far so that's good and here we go this is the first program in a while that doesn't output errors on the first try all right so you could see over here we completed the exercise so we've successfully completed the exercise by first exploiting the vulnerability manually and then scripting it in python this ends the module for broken access control so in the next videos we'll be addressing another module in the web security academy if you like the video hit the subscribe and share button so that the video reaches a wider audience also make sure to check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one thank you and see you in the next video